Um, I watched a webinar entitled Solutions for a Sustainable Tomorrow. Uh, it was interesting. Uh, it was a little cluttered, but let me tell you about who gave it. Uh, it was presented by um, a fellow by the name of James Porter, Jr. Uh, he, this man spent many, many years at DuPont and was the former um, VP of Engineering Operations. <clears throat> uh, currently, uh, he has founded his own business uh, called um, Sustainable Operations Solutions. And it's the fellow here. Um, what he focuses, what his company focuses on, and I'm going to mention these because many of the things that he talked about in his webinar fell into one of these categories. Uh, he specializes in risk management, workplace safety, process safety management, uh, cap capital effectiveness, and operations productivity. Um, before I get into those, a brief aside, what he does not focus on, because this will probably be a question, this is what most people usually expect when they hear the sustainability um, is environmental sustainability. Um, it's a bit of a shame it doesn't cover that because there are some interesting topics and some great opinions. Uh, one of my personal favorites, and this is paraphrased, but sustainability is baloney <clears throat> um, by our very own Dr. Henry. <laughs> and I'm sure many people will challenge him on that. Unfortunately, if he has patience on the order of four billion years, he'll wind up being right in the end. So, <clears throat> in terms of what uh, Mr. Porter talked about, um, he, he talked about the basis of sustainable practices. Um, he talked about sustain sustainability in regards to risk management, um, in crisis management and manufacture. Um, Mr. Porter basically premised that uh, sustainable practices began by having a set of core values. Um, and having come from DuPont, he gave a couple of examples of theirs. Um, safe, safety and health, ethical standards, and respect for people. And what he, what he pointed out was it's not good enough to have these values, you actually have to define them in some measurable way. Um, in the case of the pot, they would describe their goals as zero. So in the case of um, safety and health, they didn't want to have any violations. In the case of ethical standards, they didn't want to have any criticism, essentially a buffer approach in that regard. And then with these core values in mind, you would develop goals. And a couple out of many that he mentioned were serving the marketplace and reducing environmental footprint. Now, with your core values and your goals in mind, he began to talk about sustainability and risk management. This is one of the key areas for his, for his company. And uh, he posited that uh, essentially, in order to have a sustainable risk management strategy, risk had to be everyone's responsibility. Um, you have to think of risk in context of business strategy. Um, responsibilities in terms of risk had to be defined. And uh, essentially, think of risk risk management as a part of best practices. And one of the more interesting things that he discussed in terms of sustainable strategy for risk management was developing a culture around proper risk management. And this is actually one of his slides I'm going to show you. He, he essentially said there are different, different components to developing strong culture of risk management where reactive is just safety by instinct, dependent uh, risk management is a um, safety by rules, independent was taking personal responsibility, and independent was a mixture of the three where people work together to create and create a safe environment and reduce risk. Um, <clears throat> on a similar vein, um, he talked about sustainability and crisis management. Essentially, that um, sustainable practice uh, must continue to be a sustainable practice in the case of a crisis. Um, and in order to do that, you must assess what matters in the crisis. Um, one of his slides again, he discusses what is an effective <clears throat> crisis management system. And you can see the core values he mentioned, the quality decision making, and essentially, in order, if, if this is all in place, you ought to have a crisis management system that will hold up uh, in any circumstances. And finally, uh, sustainable manufacture. Uh, he describes sustainable manufacture as a, as a system that is agile and reliable, um, that shows continuous improvement, and, tip, and usually characterized by um, process systems that operate without manual intervention. In order to achieve sustainable manufacture, he mentioned um, 11 operational disciplines. And if you'll see this, I'm gonna take a brief, a brief moment to make a criticism of his webinar. 
Um, he listed 11. Um, he only actually talked about three. And so I picked out four of the ones that I found more interesting. But um, he lists, for example, leadership by example, um, full employee involvement, active lines of communication, and up-to-date documentation. And, and then he essentially concludes, and this is going to be my primary criticism of his webinar. Yep, sorry, this is what we talked about. <clears throat> we talked about the basis of sustainable practices being core values. Uh, we talked about sustainability and risk management, crisis management, and manufacture. And this is his, this is his I'm going to conclude here, this is his final slide. Um, although it is readable and bold, um, that, try to say that sentence six times quickly. <laughs> An organization will achieve the level of performance leadership demonstrates it expects. I don't think I actually managed to pull that off. But I think the point that he was trying to get across, that in, in, any, in any case, but especially um, in sustainability, you're going to get out what the leadership puts in. And, this, and, he, and he pointed this out, it's especially true in cases of sustainable business, business practices. So are you criticizing the fact that he used the word expects? I was criticizing the fact that I, it's a difficult sentence to say and the tenses are confusing. Have we talked about expectations in this room? I don't think we have. I expect we have. You said no expectations.